Round four. The corner of Duplessis told him the only thing that works is when they got Izzy going backwards. In that third round, Edesanya was able to dictate and go forward, and he had by far his best round. We'll see if Duplessis efforts to get back to the wrestling here in round four. Again, working that lead leg of Adesanya. Oh, beautiful uppercut. And there's the body work from oh, the nice Scalvin. Oh. Beautiful sprawl by Adesanya. No, no. Just go easy. No, it's not. I mean, but it, it, it doesn't matter what he looks like, though. He's going to keep fighting. Yeah, it's just uncomfortable. I mean, Stoutbender is very dangerous. It's starting to pay dividends. And that was a sharp right hand a moment ago from Adesanya. Again, back to work on the body. Nice combination there. He's landing at a higher frequency. He's a little bit more accurate. DDP is a little better with the grappling. But Stylebender seems to be landing at a higher clip with his accuracy and his strikes. Well, if, Dr if Drikas can't if Drikas can't get any takedowns, this is a stand-up fight. It would really serve Adesanya well. Look at that body work. 22 of 23. Big land by Adesanya. Nice counter by Duplessis. The adjustment to the uppercut's working really well for Stylebender as well. He's throwing the lead uppercut and the back uppercut, and that's really helping him out. Well, that's how you split that high guard. You come right up the middle. Go right, Go right, And now Drinkus is going forward, and he's finding more success. Just as Let's go. If you're the advancing party, you will find success. You just can't stay back. Let's go. One who moves forward wins the exchanges every time between these two. You notice that in round two, though. You're like the guy that's moving forward, the advancing guy. Chin down, Izzy. Seems as though Adesanya's confidence is growing. A lot of volume. Ooh, nice check hook. Let's go. Body work is what's adding up. For Adesanya, instead of head hunting, he's going to the body. And it's hard for DDP to dodge those shots. Oh, nice, right nice yes. And then a big left shot. hook momentarily pauses. Style bender. Nice left hook there by DDP. Wow. And Asanya's chin was way up in the air when he threw that left hook there. That's what I'm saying. Duplessis commanding the center of the octagon. Oh, he hurt him with that one bad. Right on the side of the head. Oh, Izzy said, now stand and fight now. A little Max Holloway downward point, big oh, right hand, three in a row for Duplessis, oh, and, and now Duplessis on you down. Straight to throwing one hook in, let's see if... Oh, he's got the choke! He's got the choke! Duplessis, oh, he the gets time. it done! And still, oh my God. South Africa, Drinkus wow. Duplessis remains the man at 185! The wow. He was able to get another takedown, he got it done. You saw him close to that early in the fight? It looked like the momentum was swinging to Adesanya in Duplessis. Izzy. Pure drink is fashion. Did exactly what he's done so many times. No judges' scorecards needed. Drink is Duplessis by submission <sighs> and still. Ah. Robert Whitaker, Sean Strickland, and now Israel Adesanya all in the rearview mirror, back to back to back for the middleweight king, still knocks Drakus Duplessis. And as a lot of us expected, Drakus Duplessis perhaps offering up, up some sort of acknowledgement or apology. Drakus Duplessis is a classy individual. And still, Drakus Duplessis you. now 20 fights this point. over 500. I made a slip mistake, watch me, I'll be back. All right, the official decision is brought to you by Heart Tools with over 800 quality tools to maintain Two in a row. garden car available Two in a row, at Izzy. Walmart one final time tonight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, referee Mark Goddard has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 38 seconds of the fourth round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a rear naked choke. And still!
Oh, man. I'm here with Drikas Duplessis and still the we champion. We almost of the had world. it though. How good does it feel almost ain't to enough. win this fight in this fashion and what this fight became? Wow, I, I mean, obviously, I always knew shit. If I'm in trouble fighting one of the, if not the greatest strikers ever in this division, I need that takedown. Got the takedown. You know, at this level, it's hard to keep people down. This man is the king of getting back up. Nobody can take him down and keep him there. I got a few good ones, landed a few good punches, but ultimately I believe this fight was one on the feet. Like I said, I'm alive right now. That's just a bonus. I came in here to die for this belt, and I came here to take a, take a load. Luckily tonight, we didn't have to do either of those things. But here I am, and still champion, baby. Thank you, Ben. This was the most amazing atmosphere I've ever fought in front. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody back home. Like when you're not going to wait Drikas, let's take a look at your work here. You're right, you did some good things on the feet, but early in the fight, second round, you almost got to the rear naked choke. And in the fourth round, when you were able to get that takedown, you jumped on his neck right away. Did you see something in the build that let you know that that might be a submission you could get? Absolutely. You know, that was only the beginning of our uh, sequence. That, uh, you know, obviously the takedowns, Coach Bonaif was uh, setting up the striking and the takedowns. And then this man here, right, right there, Neil Heiser, my grappling coach, with these two legends, a coach like Coach Bonaif puts everything together, the most brilliant mind in the sport, coach of the year right there, and accompanied by a grappling coach like this. We started that sequence. If he was to base up, I would have had the underhook and head control rolled him over, but it wasn't necessary. I had him in trouble on the feet. And as he, he fell down, I stayed calm. And when I got him, he fell down, I knew. Get the takedown and the defense won't be as strong as in the second round. Obviously, the man is a master at getting back up and not getting choked. And uh, we had to work a little bit harder, but ultimately, right here, right now, this was a, mostly a stand-up fight, and that's why I became victor. You spoke to Izzy for a while after the fight. What did you have to say to him because I have seen that this fight has always been rooted in respect at its core. Absolutely, for me, you know, to share this octagon with a legend, not potentially 100% Hall of Famer. This man has done so much for this sport. And uh, I'm really sorry that it came across that I disrespected the fact that he's from Africa that was never my intention. You know, tonight, Africa would have won regardless. But tonight, South Africa was the victory. It was an honor for me to share this cage with a legend like that. I have the utmost respect for him, warrior to warrior. Love and, uh, at the end of the day, guys, believe me, I do not want to be kicked by that man again. Izzy, if you decide to retire tonight, thank you. You fought Sean Strickland in January. He seems to be the next guy. What do you want next when you step in the octagon as the champion? That's no crazy. Here, still, that's the only thing I care about. I don't care about the opponents. Well, congratulations on a massive performance. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Steel Knox, Drinkers Duplessis. Oh, I mean, he deserved the win, man. We lost. Former champion, Israel Adesanya. Take it in, my guy. People love you, man. Was there anything surprising in this fight tonight with Drinkers Duplessis? To be honest, uh, his toughness, I already knew it was. He was going to be tough and hard to put away, and I was cracking him, but, yeah, I already knew he was going to be tough, so it wasn't a surprise. But I was quite strong in there. I felt strong, able to resist his takedowns. I just made a stupid, dumb mistake on the ground, and he adjusted well to the gable grip and then got me. But I stand by what I said to my family. I will fight for you forever, I swear to God, no matter what. And again, I, I, didn't, I didn't do what I wanted to do uh, tonight. And yeah, I, I'm disappointed in myself, but at the same time, I'm proud. Because this is the best I've ever felt. This is the best I've ever looked. And I just had the better man on the night, and I'll give him respect for that. Izzy, you have fought 12 straight title fights. What's next for the style bender? Uh, I didn't think this far. I was, 
I didn't manifest this. <laughs> but um, look, I know everyone, you know, you guys love me. This is where I started my career in the UFC. This is where I made my dream. Right here in Perth. Um, but look, I'm 35, I'm doing the right things. And I know all you motherfuckers want to see me lose, you want to see me down, but watch this. I'm not fucking leaving. I'm not fucking leaving! Well, don't stay gone for a year again, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Well, you know he ain't going out like that, but he will be in the Hall of Fame one day, and perhaps Strikis Duplessis will be alongside. It's nice to see those gentlemen bury the hatchet, and perhaps they will show up in each other's bracket yet again, but the man indeed is the South African, Drikas Duplessis. Bud Light, the official beer sponsor of UFC. Easy to celebrate, easy to enjoy. In celebrating, they are indeed across ah, South Africa. Easy. For Drikas, still knocks Duplessis. The path to UFC Golden Glory still goes through. Mornay Visser's pupil, the decorated UFC middleweight champion, Drikas Duplessis. I'm a fucking king of still. Hey. Crazy, yo. <sighs> Gotta give props to um, Drikas. We really do, bro. All the trolls can come out and troll. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna happen either way. Whether Izzy win or lose or whoever y'all room for. It's gonna be trolls every step of the way, man. So, <sighs> Izzy, I don't know. If he, if he lose three in a row, I don't know, bro. I don't want to see him go down that path, bro. Two ain't nothing. I know fans will be like, oh, Izzy washed. Izzy is washed. Izzy done. Yada, yada, yada. He was crying. <sighs> the memes are going to come, but we was there. We was there. We were there. It is what it is. <sighs>